In this video, we will discuss diffuse non toxic goiter or a simple goiter or endemic goiter. So, what's a diffuse goiter? A diffuse goiter is one without nodules and hyperthyroidism. How about thyroid and diffuse non toxic goiter? Thyroid is symmetrically enlarged, asymptomatic, non tender, smooth, and soft. How about histology? Uniform follicles filled with colloid. Long standing goiter may become nodular. So, what are the causes of diffuse non toxic goiter? Increased demand, physiological in pregnancy and puberty number two decreased supply iodine deficiency which is the most common cause worldwide not in united states number three goitrogen number four dishormonogenesis thyroid hormone biosynthetic defect at any step from iodide oxidation from iodide trapping to iodination to coupling in united states biosynthetic defect is more common than iodine deficiency and number five drug iodine amadrone and lithium both iodine deficiency and biosynthetic defect cause decrease thyroxine synthesis increase TSH and increase in radio iodine uptake why there is enlargement in iodine deficiency enlargement of thyroid gland in iodine deficiency is due to compensatory effect or efforts to trap iodine and to produce sufficient hormone so what are the goitrogen that cause diffuse non-toxic goiter and what substance in that is responsible for goiter vegetables of cassava and brassica family have goitrogens and the substance that causes is enlargement of the thyroid grain or goiter is thiocyanate. Examples are cabbage, cauliflower, brussels and sprouts. How milk causes goiter? Milk from regions where goitrogens are present in a grass can cause goiter. It affects 5% of the population and more in women. What are the sign symptoms of diffuse non-toxic goiter? Goiter is usually symptomless except for the pressure symptom that it produces and it causes tracheal and esophageal compression. When dyspnea occur in diffuse goiter? Dyspnea occurs when more than 70% of trachea is obstructed. What tests demonstrate esophageal obstruction that is barium swallow? What's Pemberton sign? In a large retrosternal goiter, when arms are raised, it may cause venous distension, fainting, and dyspnea. How substernal goiter is evaluated? Substernal goiter evaluation is done by CT and MRI. How about thyroid function tests in non-toxic goiter? Normal thyroid function, TSH normal or slightly increased, low T4 with normal T3. Why there is low T4? Low T4 reflects increased conversion of T4 to T3. There is increased in radioactive iodine uptake in iodine deficiency and biosynthetic defect. What's the urinary output of iodine in iodine deficiency? A urinary output of iodine in iodine deficiency is less than 10 microgram per 100 ml. A low TSH in goiter suggests thyroid autonomy or grave disease and presence of TPO antibody identify a patient of increased risk of autoimmune thyroid disease.